Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to lesson 4.7. Uh, today we are looking at area and perimeter, right? And you can see that we have some words that we need to make sure that we know here. Okay, the first two, length and width, are kind of interchangeable, okay? Uh, a lot of times people will talk about this as the long side and this is how wide it is. But honestly, right, it doesn't really matter which one you name the length and which one you name the width because if you turn the rectangle, then those just change. So just remember that the length and the width are the different sides of the rectangle, right? Um, so uh, we'll say the length is here and the width is here for right now. Then perimeter. We've talked about perimeter before. What is the perimeter of any shape? The perimeter is the outside, right? The perimeter is the distance around the shape. So it's this plus this plus this plus this, right? P-E-R-I means around, right? That's a that's a, uh, a, a root like we've talked about before, right? Perimeter, which means around. So we go around the shape. Perimeter is the outside. And area, however, area is how much space is in the middle, okay? So perimeter is the outside, and area is the inside. And you can think about that because a lot of you in your house have an area rug that is, you know, on the, on the floor, right? And it's covering some space inside the house, right? You don't, you don't just walk around your rug. You put it over a space, right, inside your house. So we have perimeter around the outside, and area is the inside. So let's find the perimeter and the area. So for perimeter here, we're going to be going around the outside. Now, this shape's pretty weird, isn't it? So we have to kind of, you know, really think through this. Uh, let's see. Let's start right here. How about that? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I like to write these down as I'm going, right? So that I, if I need to, so I can kind of add them up at the end if I need to, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I shouldn't say add them up if I need to at the end. I will need to add them up. And let's see. This I know is going to be six because it's the, it's the opposite of this side. Right? So we've got another six. And now look at these guys. All right. I'm going to kind of group some of these together. One, two, three, four five, six. So all of that was six, which means that it's going to be the same on the other side because I can tell because this is symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six over here. And then lastly, this ending is one, two, three, four. All right, so let's see what I ended up here. I have six, 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 four, and eight. Well, I'm going to put the sixes together first, right? So six, 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 six. That's four sixes. Four times six is 24. And now I need to add eight more which equals, carry the one, 32. So now I've, see how I crossed these sides out as I went? Then I know I have to do 12, or excuse me, four more. And so our uh, perimeter here is 36 units, all right? And we don't know if this is centimeters or, or millimeters or whatever it is. So we'll just say 36 units. Now the area, let's see if I can clear this uh, screen here. Can I reset this screen? Ooh, I have an idea here. Let's do... 
uh, where's my, oh, every tool is not where I expect it to be. Uh, eraser. Nope. All right. Well, let's just go for it. Okay. Um, maybe we can move some of these. Nope. <laughs> All right. So with our area, what we want to do is count the squares, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six on the end there. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Okay, so 54, and let's put a U for units here. So the area, the inside is 54 units squared. That's how we write that. Now, something else I could have done, right, was to count this part and then to use the sides on the big part um, to multiply, but I'll show you that um, here in a minute. Okay, so let's talk about something important. What did let's talk about perimeter first? When Mr. White was going around the outside, what's something that you important that you saw me do? Okay, I lay I I I traced each side. You can do that with your pencil. I labeled each side. I labeled a six and an eight and a six, right? And so on. And then I added them up at the end. With the area though, what did I do to find the area? I just counted the squares, didn't I? I just counted the squares. I just kind of went around and counted the squares. So, all right, let's uh, look at this. I want to show you another idea here, right? So the perimeter of this shape, well, you can find the perimeter of this shape pretty quickly, probably, right? Don't say 13. What's the perimeter of this shape? It's 26, eight plus eight plus five, plus five equals 26 feet. Perimeter is around the outside. Now area, I'm gonna teach you a little cheat code here, okay? Now there's no, uh, there's no squares. Now we could draw squares in there, okay? We could do that and that would work. But a little hint is that we could also, if it's a rectangle, we could multiply the length and the width. Okay, so if you see something with no squares, most of the time you're going to see squares and you can just count them. But to find the area, you could also do eight times five equals 40 feet squared. See the little two, that means squared, right? And and uh, if you, if you want to see it, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I divided this into eight pieces. Oh, wait, I might have done nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops, too many. Let's get rid of one. There you go. And then five pieces here. One, two, three, four, and five. Right now, if you count those up, you'll get 40. You want to try it? Here, count those up. See if you get 40. Yeah, if you counted right, you did. Okay, so you could you can count squares on a rectangle, or on and this is only on a rectangle. You can multiply the length and the width. All right, we have a lot more to do, but um, we're going to run out of time here. So I want to just review what we would do. So for perimeter, we would count around the outside. Right here's one. Let's get something bigger here. Here's one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I would keep going, okay? That's what, then I would have the perimeter, and the, for the area, I would just count up all of these spaces inside here, okay? All right, uh, your math journal page looks like this. You're going to be finding the perimeter, right? So how far it is around the outside, right? All four sides, adding those up. Then the area is when you count the inside. Do we want to add that here, right? Maybe let's do that. Let's uh, open up to your math journal for me, page 117. 
And I want to go ahead and uh, label these two words. Perimeter is the outside, and you'll write it probably prettier than more pretty than I did. And the area is the inside. Okay, that is the key idea here today. So your job to do um, page Math Journal page one seventeen thinking about how perimeter is the distance around the outside and area is how many squares, how much space is inside. If you need any help with area or perimeter, let me know and uh, good luck.